So today is day number three post slump and I have realized this morning while I was getting ready that I can um, areas for improvement for me because I've always been somebody who's been very self-aware is being a better cancer patient. So what I mean by that is that yesterday um, after receiving uh, information from Dr. Velik uh, early in the morning that there was a confirmed diagnosis of breast cancer, that lends itself to a whole myriad of phone calls that I had anticipated that I needed to make to, of course, family and friends. Um, but what I didn't necessarily expect to have to add in was all of the doctor's appointments and different things that were associated with a confirmed diagnosis. And so yesterday I spent um, a lot of the day juggling, um, oh, this person is on the checklist <laughs> that I've created um, that needs to be on the call list. And so, you know, giving five minutes to that, you know, and really, because it's the only time that I had in my day yesterday and that needed to be done. So what I found myself doing yesterday was really trying to fit cancer into my already established life without giving anything up. Um, and not making it a priority. So I um, apologize to my mother. She was on the call list yesterday, and so I had five minutes um, within my checklist to make a phone call to my mother to tell her I had cancer. And so one of the other things that I realized is while I have known for since Monday, um, or in my mind, unconfirmed, yes, known, um, this is the first time that she knew so literally, you know, she's doing the dishes gets a phone call from her daughter I have cancer. Of course. She starts getting emotional. I say you have to save that for later I've got five minutes um, Which was probably not being the best cancer patient or the best daughter. So um, in hindsight, sorry mom um, I'm trying to get better at this um, but you know, this is certainly you know, being a small business owner where I've really tried to put this in a category is like everything else, like it's a project. And what I mean by that is like, for instance, in my mind, if I know it's a wig project, right? We're gonna lose the hair and that was my thing yesterday. And so my natural instinct is to sort of take over and go, okay, this is a project. I'm gonna lose hair. What is the timeline? We know that it's three weeks. What is the cost involved? Who's gonna go? When's the appointment? Um, what are the the other things that go along with that? So I'm treating everything like it is a business and a project and it's not. So one of the things that I'm going to work on um, today when I go and see Dr. Velig, which I'm getting ready to go in and see him now, is being a better cancer patient by prioritizing um, my cancer appointments and and just cancer in general and not trying to fit it into my life and making adjustments accordingly. Um, so I've been trying to shift my mind a little bit and thinking in terms of, okay, just because I've always done, you know, cattle works, which is, or high intensity, um, high impact type classes at uh, Wilson's, doesn't mean that I can't try the iron yoga, which might be a little less intense. Um, or a different type of workout and really adjust um, because I have cancer um, rather than trying to fit cancer into figuring out how I'm going to do all these things. And honestly speaking, I do know that um, it's going to dictate itself of what, how I'm really or what are my limitations and what I'm going to be um, able to do. So I just need to be um, better at um, that. So that's one of the things that I'm working on and I'll know more after my myriad of appointments today and then um, also on Monday. So stay tuned.